Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with the second part of 14th lesson Today, in grade 7 science. Heat transfer. Lesson is Heat is a type of energy. The sun is our largest heat source. The sun is some millions of kilometers away from the earth. We get solar heat very soon. This indicates that heat has traveled from the sun to the earth very quickly. Here you can see students near a fire and touching a hot cup of tea. Here we feel warm. True, we are few meters away from a fire. Hand will be burned if a heated object is touched. In these instances, heat has traveled from one place to another place. Traveling of heat from one place to another place is called heat transfer. There are three methods of heat transfer. They are conduction, convention and radiation. Let's see what is the conduction is. A metal spoon in a cup of tea gets heated soon. The far end of the metal spoon get heated when it is put into the pan of a cooker. Here you can see that. You have to do an activity to find out how heat transfers through a solid substance. You will need a metal rod of 20 cm long, few pins and candle. Here you have to take the metal rod and fix pin on it. In 2 cm intervals using candle wax as shown in the figure. Heat one end of the rod using the candle. Record your observation after some time. Here you can observe that pins are dropping down gradually. Starting from the heating end of the rod. Because of the melting of wax. It can be concluded that heat has transferred to particles of the rod starting from heat in end. The heat transfers from one particle to another. This method of transferring heat from particle to particle without the motion of particles to a solid is known as a conduction of heat. Most of metal conduct heat well. They are known as heat conductors. Examples are iron, copper, aluminium, gold, silver. Substances that do not conduct heat well are known as heat insulators. They are glass, wood, plastic, cloth, air and water. Heat conductors as well as heat insulators are important in day-to-day -day life. Let's see what are the activities. Here you can see heat insulators used as a handle of heating objects. Next one is convection. You may have seen that small twigs of trees above a large fire are waving. What can be the reason for this? Heated air near to the fire rises up and cool air from downwards flow towards the fire. Heated air current rises up like this is called convectional current. When these current strip with the twigs of the trees, they start to dwell. Here you have to do an activity to study about the way that heat travels through air. You will need a tall beaker, piece of cardboard, candle, some joysticks. Here, first of all, cut the piece of cardboard to the shape as shown in the figure. Place the piece of cardboard at the middle of the beaker to divide the inside of into two chambers. Then place the lighted candle in side B of the beaker as shown in the figure. Light some joysticks and hold them at the mouth of the beaker on the other side of the piece of the cardboard. Observe what happened. Now blow the candle and hold the joysticks in side A. Observe what happened in here again. It can be observed that the smoke of joysticks enters into the beaker from side A and comes out from side B. When heated air rises up from chamber B, where the lighted candle is placed, cold water air flows down into chamber A. 
It is clear that smoke of joysticks also flow with air currents. It is clear that heat travels through air as convectional currents. In next activity, you have to find out how heat travels through liquid. You will need a few can condensed crystals, candle, burner, round bottom flask and a laboratory stand. Here, place some condensed crystal at the bottom of the flask and cover them with wax. Pour water into the flask and heat it. Observe what happened. Here, it can be observed that purple color rises up as current from condensed crystal in water and sinks down near the wall of the flask. Here, water at the bottom of the flask is heated and rises up because of the reduction of density. Cold water at the top sinks down because it has higher density. Rising heat, heated water currents and sinking cold water currents are known as the convectional currents. Water in the flask heated because of these convectional currents. The method of transferring heat through liquids and gases by convectional current is known as convection. The method of transferring heat through liquids and gases by convectional current it is known as convection. Thank you. Let's meet you in the third part of this lesson.